Okay, I'll be cleaning up the parts here shortly. Right now, I want to take a few minutes and uh, show the differences between the two gear ratios. Now, you remember this transmission had a 1.82 to 1 ratio, and the components to that is over here. It's basically four parts. Right here, I have a 1.76 to 1 ratio with those parts. Now, I'll compare the two so you can see the difference. Okay, let's look at the input shafts first. Here is the 1.82 and this is the 1.76. Remember I said that the 1.76 is slightly longer. So let me put the, uh, let's say, the converter end together. We'll put them side by side, and you can see the 1.76 is a little bit longer. Let's take a closer look. Okay, you can see just about everything is the same to the slip rings and the first set of splines. But when you get to the second set of splines, that's where you see that the 1.76 has a little bit greater offset. It's a little bit further out. And so remember, the 1.76, the overall length of the uh, input shaft is 12 and 7 eighths, and the 1.82 ratio is 12 and 5 eighths. Okay, next let's look at the low sun gear. This is the one from the 1.82 to 1. The diameter of this gear is approximately an inch and 5 eighths. Let's compare it to the low sun gear from the 1.76 to 1 ratio. It's much larger in diameter. It's about an inch and 13 sixteenths. And again, remember how I said that the Torrington bearing that's in the planetary is loose and will actually come out of the 1.76? Well, you can see why. This sun gear, which goes down into that planetary, is much larger in diameter. Now let's compare the ring gears. This is the one from the 1.82, and this is the one from the 1.76. Uh, you can see they look about the same, but one distinctive difference is this little ledge here. You see that it, uh, the 8-2 uh, the ratio has this little ledge uh, on the ring gear, whereas the uh, 176 has uh, it's a chamfer there. The biggest difference you can notice is the diameter. You put these together and you can see that the, the 1.76 is much larger in diameter. Okay, now let's look at the planetary itself. Now this is the 1.82, the one that was in this transmission, and you can see the planet body is made out of, uh, it's kind of a stamp steel arrangement here. and. Um, the uh, park and paw gear looks like it's actually attached to that stamping with uh, some rivets. And of course you have the different pinions that's on the inside. All right, let's compare that to the 176. Now you can see there is definitely a difference in the size and the diameter, much larger. Also, you see that the body is kind of a single casting. You see all of this area plus the, the uh, park and paw gear, it's a kind of single unit. Also, when you compare the pinion gears, at least the outside ones, they're much larger in diameter. And of course, um, where the low sun gear goes, you can see that the 1.76 definitely has a larger hole there. Okay, I believe you can identify the different gear ratios now. Remember too that on a 1.76 to 1 ratio, the splines are slightly larger in diameter. In fact, the 1.76, everything about it is bigger. You have bigger planet gears, you have a larger low sun gear, the uh, planet body itself is heavier duty, everything about it is stronger. The 1.8 2 to 1 ratio is really not very good for drag racing. It shouldn't be considered unless you had a very lightweight car with a relatively low horsepower engine. However, when it comes to round track racing, that's the preferred ratio. They're looking for a low rotating mass. In fact, they go a step further. They'll take that stamped steel body and drill it full of holes to lighten it up even more. But in drag racing, you have very high shock loads, especially with a trans brake. So the 1.76 to 1 ratio is really the only one to consider for drag racing, unless you're going with aftermarket planetaries.